has been a, a quite unique and uh, um, challenging investigation. Um, the breakthrough was the tenacity and uh, professionalism of uh, one of my colleagues who uh, undertook a mammoth task of uh, trawling through manifest data, flight data, um, which was uh, successful in the end. You put that educated guess, I mean, um, was it just plucking that out of the air? No, we, you, uh, you work on a series of hypotheses. We got, we've got a hip, a hip uh, a plate in his hip. We knew that there was a link to Pakistan. Uh, we knew the operation was approximately 2012 from uh, some information that we'd recovered. So it was uh, somewhat of a, a, a guess. We put a profile together. Uh, however, surprisingly, the inquiries that we were doing uh, turned out to be to be successful in the end. We speak to the the, uh, the surgeon who's conducted the operation. He recognises him straight away. So he was uh, he was along the right tracks. We speak to the family members, and they identify him from um, the imagery that we've recovered. So it's just. I mean, we're here now with the media, and we think that everybody has access to the media. And in this case, it wasn't proven to be true. What was it like meeting Jamie for the first time? It was uh, it was a lovely moment because we knew uh, that we we'd identified the family members. We wanted to ensure that the. Uh, that we could do the right thing and, and Jeremy could then move forward and, and bury his brother. Do you have anything to say about the fact that in this day and age with all the difficult technology and communications that a man could apparently live so privately and die so far? It's, it's amazing how uh, people, how he's managed to travel from Pakistan over here and apparently um, nobody's Nobody's missed him, nobody's seen him, nobody's had any, any phone calls off him. It's, it's, just, it's just been quite amazing, really.